G'day, I'm Angus Stewart, Doctor of the Dirt. And today I want to talk to you about a subject that's very close to my heart, worm farming. It's an alternative organic waste disposal method that's easy to do, incredibly rewarding, and it's great fun for your kids as well. Did you know that approximately half of the household waste you throw away is organic? Currently, many people rely on valuable council resources to come and take that organic waste away and put it into landfill, where it breaks down to create methane, a potent greenhouse gas. It can also create landfill leachate, which potentially can escape and cause water pollution. That organic waste could be recycled into a rich fertiliser that you can use to feed your garden and grow your own food. Worms are amazing creatures. They're Mother Nature's natural recyclers. And you can put this wonderful living resource to work by having your own worm farm. They don't take up much space. They're easy to use, easy to maintain, and it's something that every person on the planet can do to help our environment. The assembly of your worm farm is simple and quick. Use the packaging cardboard to line the bottom or home tray and put a worm farm bedding block, which you've previously expanded in a bucket of water, on top of the cardboard. Most importantly, add the worms. Then put some kitchen scraps in the top or working tray for them to eat. Cover with a blanket and place your worm farm in a cool and shady spot with easy access to your kitchen. Once you're up and running, maintaining your worm farm will take you about 10 minutes a week. Kitchen scraps are perfect. The main thing is diversity. Make sure that you have a whole variety of materials. Chop them as finely as you can. Add a thin layer across the top. And I like to keep a bucket of either organic soil or in this case, compost, to spread a bit of that to cover the kitchen scraps and that gives the worms a bit of grit in their gut which helps them digest the food. A worm farm of this size can actually digest up to four kilograms of kitchen scraps every week. If your worm farm starts to get a bit whiffy, the worms need more oxygen, they breathe. So a tool like this lets a bit more oxygen in. And once a week, we add some of this worm farm compost conditioner to balance the acidity and sweeten the mix. And pour three to five litres of water into the working tray of the worm farm to keep the bedding moist. Finally, the blanket, that insulates the worms. It stops them getting too hot or too cold and also darkens the whole worm farm so that the worms will come right up to the surface to feed. Remember to always leave the tap open with a bucket underneath. This allows for good drainage and aeration in your worm farm. The liquid that collects in this bucket is called worm tea and it's a great liquid fertiliser to use in your garden. When the top working tray is absolutely full, it means that the bottom trays, these home trays, are now ready to harvest and this is the fun bit. So we take our working tray out and all of these beautiful castings, otherwise known as worm poo, are just full of rich organic nutrients ready to go into your garden. The next part of the process is to take what was our working tray Put that on the bottom and then our empty tray will now become the working tray. So when that starts to fill up with scraps, we'll put the worm blanket over those and the whole process starts again. I hope you've enjoyed our little tutorial. Happy worm farming.